What's up everybody? Time to go out and get another bento and some sake. Today it's a uh, lobster bento with a uh, strawberry sake. So stick around, I'm gonna head out and get it right now. And it's raining. All right, slight change in plans. My car won't start. I can hear a click, so it might be the starter. So time to Uber. I already put the food order in and I don't want to cancel. <laughs> All right, thank you. And we are back, got my food. And hopefully this Uber trip didn't cost me too much. Probably like 15 so dollars and I got to tip the guy, so. All right, so that was an adventure. Uh, hopefully my car can be fixed. Uh, I think it's the starter issue. You can hear it click when you turn the ignition. So hopefully I can get that fixed after Memorial Day. And yeah, so. Luckily, um, I was able to Uber and get my food. It has a round trip of like $15, which wasn't too bad. and. Just add in some stops, got to be, it was in and out really fast. Uh, ran into X there, one of the owners at Wara Wara, and I, you know, was, didn't have a chance to talk to him much because I uh, was waiting, but I was glad to see him, see that he's okay. And uh, telling me to get a better car. <laughs> All right, so let's go, let's get this video started. So this bento box comes with a lobster thermidor. So that's lobster, crab meat, Bay scallop, shrimp, mushroom, and Parmesan cheese. With uh, roasted fingerling potatoes and cauliflower, rice pilaf, corn, and miso butter. So, itadakimasu, let's start off with the lobster. Mm. Ooh, nice and cheesy. There's Parmesan cheese on this. That was really nice. Really, really nice. It was worth the Uber ride. Definitely worth the Uber ride. <laughs> mm. They do these bentos every week and they change it every week, but it's a uh, really nice. It's uh, you know, they don't uh, they don't mess up, they don't play around. These are pretty good, well made. So, I do enjoy. I do enjoy that they make something new every week. That's good. Also, there wasn't one last week because <clears throat> I drank half a bottle of whiskey and I was too hungover to actually do one of these videos. So if you're wondering why, that's what happened. Oh, this is awesome. Cheesy, lobstery, seafoody, delicious, deliciousness. <laughs> This sake is from the same brewery as the previous video that I made. And um, this one, instead of being made from marigold yeast, this is from strawberry flower yeast. So it's supposed to taste like strawberries a little bit. And even the name has strawberry in it. Amabuki Junmai Ginjo Ichigo. Ichigo means strawberry, right? Yeah, I think so, right? <laughs> so my Japanese is really bad, but yeah, I think that means strawberry. Ichigo translation. Yeah. <laughs> I only got one of these, so I'm gonna drink it cold. But I also grabbed the previous one that I had just to do a taste comparison. And you know, because I like drinking two at once for some reason, I don't know. I just like drinking sake. So, cheers. We'll see if this tastes like strawberries. All right, let's open this up. And it says, be careful about cutting yourself on the lid. <laughs> I just want to be careful about spilling it all over the place. Look at that. And if I remember the advice from Kazi from last week, I don't know, it wasn't last week, two weeks ago, so I should drink it straight out of this bottle. Well, it's sweet. Does it taste like strawberries? 
Not really. Maybe I haven't had strawberries in a while. I should have bought some strawberries. But it's definitely sweet. Give it that. And I enjoy sweet sakes. All right, so let's taste the other one. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. This is the uh, the marigold amabuki. Also sweet, but this is more have like a this definitely has more of a a ricier taste. Tastes more like yeah. This is definitely sweeter. Yeah, they do taste distinctly different. Given the option of the two, I prefer the strawberry one. I guess I just like sweeter sakes, I guess. Definitely, definitely prefer a strawberry one. I like getting two like that so I can directly compare them, you know, because going off memories, like both of them are good, but having them at the same time, it's very, you can, you can, you can immediately tell the difference, which is, yeah. So there is a distinct sweetness to this that I really like, and it's, um, it was better than, uh, the Marigold or <clears throat> Omachi. So this one was the, Amabuki Yamahai Junmai Omachi. Oh, this is Am Amabuki Junmai Genjo Ichigo. All right, so this one's a Junmai, this is a Junmai Genjo. And then above that, is a there's a Dai Genjo. So that's why this is sweeter. Okay. What's the difference between those? At the top of my head, I'm too drunk to tell you, but yes, a, a Genjo is better than a regular Junmai. <laughs> All right. Learn something every day. <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. I'm going to, uh, Sip the rest of this one. I, I, I warmed it up. It's kind of hot. So once it cools down, while I'm editing this video, I'll be chugging this. Not chugging, but, you know, drinking it. So yeah, that's me just rambling on. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.